Hello, we are Team Iris and we are happy to have you on board. As part of an online only semester, we'll be getting you up to speed with how to go about it. To start off, one of the most important things you need to have as a student of NITK is your NITK Edu email IDs under Google and Microsoft. Being an educational email ID, it unlocks a multitude of products, services and discounts across the internet, the most important one being Microsoft Teams. Use the credentials sent to your personal email ID to sign into Iris. Navigate to your profile, then click on anatica.edu.in account on the left. Here you can customize the email ID to be used as your anatica.edu.in account email ID. And once ready, click on create anatica.edu.in account. You'll be shown a password and you'll need to know this for future reference. If you ever need to change your password again, simply navigate to this page again and click on reset nidk.edu.in password. Next, click on Microsoft Edu account on the left. Then click on create slash fetch Microsoft Edu account. The email ID that you have used before will be used to create your Microsoft ID account as well. As stated, it can take up to 24 hours for you to be able to sign in. Be advised that creating an nidk.edu.in account is mandatory for all your academic activities conducted in an online only setting, such as attending classes and giving examinations. Microsoft Teams is available on browser and as a desktop app. For a detailed overview on Microsoft Teams, you can refer to the Microsoft Teams guide. To register for your courses, access the course registration module in the Academics tab of your IRIS dashboard. In this module, you will find a preview timetable with all your mandatory courses already filled in. For electives, you will have to select it from a drop-down menu as such. An elective is eligible for grading only once it is approved by both course instructor and faculty advisor. Click register to complete registration. Please ensure that if you enroll in a new course after registering once, that you click register one more time. You will also be able to view your courses in the course dashboard of your IRIS homepage. Please ensure that you've clicked register at least once before December 11th. In this segment, we shall be covering Moodle and BBB lectures. To access Moodle, click on Login to Moodle under the Academics tab. Now, scroll down and you'll find all your registered courses under the Course Overview tab. Click on the required course and in here, you'll find all your course materials which includes BBB lectures, quizzes, assignments and any other material which has been uploaded by a course lecturer. Click on any of these files to access them. For example, if you want to watch a BBB lecture, click on that particular file and click on presentation. In the next segment, we shall be covering Telaris. In this segment, we shall be covering Telaris. If you have any suggestions, feedback or issues, click on the Telaris button on the top right corner. In here, Select the particular ticket category and give an appropriate subject and description. If you have any screenshots or in the files, you can attach them using the attachment field. After you're done, click on the submit ticket button. Upon clicking on this button, a mail will be sent to you to your registered email ID which will contain 
all the particular ticket details. To view the status of any ticket, click on the View Fast Ticket Status button, wherein you will have to enter the ticket tag tracking ID and your email ID. For a detailed overview, click on the Help Desk User Manual button. Before we finish, students are required to take note of some important dates. Course registration will commence on 10th and 11th of this month. Orientation will be on 12th December. And normal classes will start on Teams from 14th December.